Hey, what is going on YouTube? Bike Device Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass the lock screen in iOS 7.1, whether it's an iPhone, an iPod Touch, or an iPad, including Touch ID in iOS 7.1. I've been playing around with my device and I kind of found a bug that gives you access to context information, emails, and uh, things like that. And I'm going to demonstrate what I mean here in a few seconds. Here it is, iOS 7.1, uh, bill number 11D167, which is the latest version of iOS 7.1 released by Apple. Now this iPad here is in Retina Display and it has a passcode. And I have the simple passcode 1234 here for the purpose of this video. Now, we're going to be using Siri to engage a FaceTime call with a fake contact or a non-existent contact on my list. And I'll explain uh, what I mean here by demonstrating it. So let's go ahead and begin. FaceTime. Who would you like to FaceTime with? Siri. Sorry. I don't see Siri in your contacts. Well, Can you try again? Siri is not on my contacts, so it's a fake or a non-existent one. So I hit the other option that Siri pops up. And when, when you hit that, you get the uh, the contacts on your list. Now, I created a contacts here, a test contact for the purpose of the video. And if I press on it, Siri will attempt to make the FaceTime Making call. A FaceTime call to a test. Without, uh, uh, you know, without showing any kind of personal information, and that's the security of iOS. It's not supposed to show any kind of uh, personal information at all. But here is how to bypass this. Let's go ahead and try this a different way now. I'm, I'm not going to explain. I'm just going to show you to so kind of follow along here with me uh, because it's going to be hard to explain. FaceTime. Who would you like to FaceTime with? Siri. Sorry, I don't see Siri in your contacts. Can you try again? Again, a non-existent contact. Go ahead and hit the other option. Now, if I go here into the contacts uh, groups, I'm going to go and select the business part, and I'm going to hit done. Now, you have to talk to Siri a couple times. You have to ask her a few things, uh, like three times. Calendar. Okay, here's what's on your calendar. Weather. Right in the Here's middle of that, the today just kind of go ahead and do that. While she's talking, just got to go ahead and select contacts and then come right back into your contacts. Now you double tap on the one you want and it gives you all the personal information. Now, this is a test contact, of course, so it's not showing anything, but it shows an image, it shows phone numbers, emails, addresses, and things like that, the typical things that you would find on your contacts list, especially under your own personal contacts list on the device, which Siri keeps all the personal information at. Now, that is a simple way uh, how to get access to all the contacts. It is a bypass here. Again, it affects Touch ID, iPhone 5S, and also all other iPhones and iPads. Uh, if, a quick fix for this is by jumping into the settings application, if you go under passcode, you want to select one, two, three, four. That's my passcode. And then you want to uh, allow Siri when locked. You want to untick that. That way Siri does not pop up on the lock screen, therefore making your device a little more secure. Uh, now, hopefully Apple will release an update soon, but this is a quick fix here. And I just wanted to point that out because some personal information could be compromised here with this uh, quick bug that I found here for the lock screen. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will catch you guys real soon. Peace.